All right guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be splitting and stacking all of this cotton wood, getting it stacked, getting the drying process started so we can make more room for some more box elder, mulberry, and elm was the mystery wood from the last one. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. I think it's the real, real stringy stuff. I tried splitting one big round and the axe just bounced off it. So what I'm going to do is um, get some smaller rounds from the same tree and try splitting those. And if they're really hard to split, I mean, I'm not going to take them. I'm just going to leave them for the guy. I don't want to be um, splitting, hand splitting elm in large quantities. I'll, I'll get the easy splitting stuff. This stuff isn't too bad. Box elder should split pretty easy. Cottonwood is kind of tough, but it's manageable. All right, let's stop rambling and we'll get splitting. Look what we got here, vintage axe head. So this is kind of what it looked like before and I'm working on it. It's looking pretty nice here. We got the, ouch, that's sharp. Um, metal wire on the electric drill here and we're getting it done.
side. Looks pretty good. Now, get the top and the bottom. It's starting to come together. Oh, look at that. It's got a nice shine to it. Oh, yeah. guys here it is all shined up new profile on it here looking real nice that's just beautiful it was all old and crummy and there's this beautiful dark iron under it stay tuned i'm gonna have this be a two-part video because uh here's the handle don't want to have you guys wait for this video any longer so i'm just gonna publish this Part two, we'll be putting the handle on, seating it. I'm gonna buy a draw knife so we can seat it really well on there. All right, another little update before I end this video. I got all the cotton wood split up. It's all stacked. That's all box elder. And surprise, surprise, another mystery wood here. This came from some sort of big shrub. It wasn't a tree. Um, this was the very bottom of it. It was a double brancher and it branched out here got hit by woodpeckers but uh i'm gonna make a video uh next video probably maybe on uh, a fresh cut so you can see the end grain better so that's a little faded but yeah i don't i don't know what this is obviously there's it's like smooth bark it smells good too it doesn't smell like crap it actually smells good and that's just smelling end grain. I'm sure when you split it open, it'll smell pretty good as well. Let's uh, show you that cottonwood pile. Here it is here. Just about got two face cord out of it. There's one, one and a half, just about two. Just a little missing. We'll probably top that off with box elder, but I gotta get selling wood here because all of this is dry and all that is dry. And um, this little one is dry and the basswood is dry. 
So my plan is I only have a Craigslist ad right now. I'm going to make a Facebook Marketplace ad and hopefully wood will start leaving the wood yard again. I can't remember when my last sale was, but it's somewhere in the depths of my channel somewhere. So we'll get that done and hopefully we'll have some wood sale videos. For you guys that haven't seen me do a sale yet, what I do pretty much, I don't deliver. I have them come pick it up. I'll put all, um, I'll wheelbarrow it all up to the front yard. Usually takes like five trips for a half a face cord and like probably 10 for a face cord. And I'll just lay it on a tarp on the boulevard in front of my house. And then they'll just come and pick it up with their truck or their car. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one.